Hello again, so today I'm going to be doing a Timu haul. This is going to be a very random haul. I have kitchenware, hair accessories, a hair removal tool, some temporary hair dye, and a few other things. So I'm going to get started. The first item is this right here. So this is like a hundred pieces of covers for bowls. So I am going to test it for the first time. I haven't tried it out yet. This is what the bags look like. And they're supposed to be covers. So let's see. Okay. So you're going to kind of like pull apart like this. Kind of looks like a little hat. So I have two bowls right here. I have a small one and a big one. So here's a small one. And I'm going to put this on top. Okay, so it covers it. Like, not only does it cover the top, it also covers, like, all the way to the bottom because they're kind of, like, large. All right. So now I'm going to try it on a bowl. Let's see. I'm trying to, like, do it with... Ooh, yeah. Okay, so it's ripping a little bit because... Although it stretches. Okay. So although it ripped just a little bit right here, as you can see, like this elastic thing didn't like, like ripped on this side right here. It's still covering it nicely. I don't think that this is the type of cover that you can put something in there and then turn it around and expect it to hold whatever is in there. It's just kind of like, to cover it so like no animals get in there like flies or stuff like that and um yeah just to keep it covered but not necessarily like airtight or spill proof all right next so the next item i'm gonna be showing you a video is this one right here okay i tried out this the other day so this is supposed to be an avocado cutter and also it's supposed to like scoop out the pulp and it's supposed to slice it at the same time so i don't know if my avocado was not firm enough and it just got mushy a little bit when i tried to do that plus it didn't get close enough to the edges so there was still like some of it left i feel like i get better results when i use a knife and a spoon to scoop it out <laughs> that didn't work for me all right next i have this item right here and this is supposed to be a stand and at the same time kind of like a spoon holder but more like a serving spoon so i have a ladle right here and the way that you use it it's you put this thing on the countertop and then you're going to hold your rest your spoon or whatever it is that you're using on this so this bottom part is going to rest on a countertop and this right here is gonna rest in here. So any spills uh, or anything that's inside that serving utensil is gonna fall inside this tray instead of falling on your counter. Plus it keeps, it keeps it like nicely stacked and held like side by side like this. So I really like this. I've been using it every day because I feel that it is so convenient. This one holds four different utensils. Next, I am going to go on to the hair products. Okay, so the first item that I'm gonna show you in the hair product category is this right here. <laughs> so this right here is supposed to be kind of like a temporary hair dye, and it's supposed to be one of those hair dyes that you put on that day and it comes out once you wash it. Let me open it up for you and I'm gonna be showing you a video of me putting it on. This is what it looks like. It smells good. Actually, it smells good. And it kind of looks like paint. So now I'm gonna show you the video of me putting it on and then I'm gonna show you another video of how it looked like at the end of the day. Okay, so at first I was putting it on like if it was a regular hair dye, kind of like Manic Panic where it, you basically use it straight out of the container. 
so I, that's what I thought I was doing. I was like, oh, maybe that's what it's going to be like. And then it temporarily dyes the hair. And, you know, after like a couple washes, it comes out. But then I realized really quick that that's not how it works. <laughs> and basically, it's like one of those things that as soon as you wash your hair, like it comes right out as soon as you put water on it. So then I started trying to put it on kind of like highlights and like highlights it does make sense but then I also had like a big patch of it in the front of my hairline and <laughs> so I started putting it on like highlights and it's really cool because it's really noticeable like my hair is very dark and you can see that it's extremely noticeable it's red and so I was like very pleasantly surprised now I cannot see in the back of my head so in the back it is horrible I mean so is the front but you know you get the idea so <laughs> that's what I was doing um and then what I tried to do was kind of like press it a little bit yes it's gonna become a little bit less bright but at least it's not gonna have like globs of paint on it so yeah that's what I did and um I am gonna show you in a little bit okay the back of it I'm gonna show you <laughs> what it looks like in the back and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like oh um I forgot to tell you yeah it comes off with a wipe so that's really nice so on the skin it doesn't stain it just comes off with a wipe I touch my hair and now it has thingies on it because it's not completely dry. This is the end of the day. I've had this on for over 12 hours and this is what it's looking like. It is still on there. So it does dry down but I feel like even though it, it dried down, if you touch it, you still get some red on your fingers. You see right here a little bit. All right, so it did, like I said in the video, it did come off on anything that I touched with my hair so if i ran my fingers through my hair my fingers were red it, even at the end of the day <laughs> throughout the day um i actually took a nap that day because i was so tired and i knew that i shouldn't because it was gonna be kind of messy but i was just way too sleepy and i really wanted to try this out so i ended up like taking a nap and so i'm gonna be showing you right now i'm gonna insert a video of my pillow what it looked like after i took the nap i mean it was all like reddish pinkish from the dye so although yes it does show up it really does show up it is something that is best left for like if you want to take pictures or something like that or if you're not going to be touching your hair it doesn't remain absolutely wet as when you put it on but even though it's kind of like dry it still rubs off so you have to be careful with that so if it's gonna rain don't use it i still think that it's an interesting concept next i have some hair accessories i bought these for my puppets <laughs> they're not for me they're for my puppets and i bought two different colors i do use those puppets like in church <laughs> so um yeah these are the flowers that i got and they are so super cute let me looks like this is what it looks like right here i mean it's not only for puppets that obviously is for uh just putting it on your hair and it looks cute uh, i don't know i mean i'm 43 years old what do you think i mean i would love to wear something like this but i feel like it's a little more juvenile and i don't know if uh, people will look at me like weird like what is she wearing kind of thing <laughs> um, what do you think <laughs> would you wear it if you were my age 
All right. The next hair accessories are these right here, and these are hair barrettes. So they are absolutely cute. They match the other ones. They really match like the other ones that I just showed you. And I think that they are so cute. Let me put them on so you can see them. These I also got for my puppets. Um, as you can see, this one kind of looks like, I forgot what it's called, Rick Rack? That zigzaggy ribbon. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Rick Rack. Uh, but yeah, that's what these are. Um, hair accessories they're super cute i also got them for my puppets but yeah they are hair accessories the next hair accessories are also for my puppets and they are little stars so this is what they look like i have like different colors there's like lots of different colors that come in here as you can see uh, yeah, there's a lot of different colors and they are super, super cute. There's a, a whole bunch of them like this. And the way they work is that you just pop them open like this. You have to pop them open like this and then you put it on and then you press it. You press it uh, and this is what the, what it looks like. And so, yeah, I mean, these are also for my puppets. That's what I got them for. Um, but it's for, you know, for people. <laughs> That's what they're meant for, for people. But I'm using it for my puppets. Okay. Like I said with the previous ones, like I, I really, really like hair accessories. I think they're super cute. And, but I feel like I would... People would look at me weird wearing something like that. I mean, what do you think? Do you even care what people think or if anybody thinks anything? <laughs> and sometimes people don't even care. All right, the last hair accessories that I have are these right here. And with this one, you're supposed to, I'm gonna be showing you a video of how to put it on. But with this one, you wrap your hair around here. You kind of like um, roll it like this, then you turn this like that and you turn it like that and you kind of like wrap it around your hair this way. I'm gonna see if this actually works because I haven't tried it on yet, but that's the idea. And I think that these are actually really cute. I didn't know that they were gonna be this type of material. It's kind of like see-through, as you can see. Uh, what is this called? I'm trying to remember what this is called, but I forgot what it's called. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of iridescent and it is a little bit see-through and then it does have the flower thingies in the center, so it's cute. All right. All right, so the next item is not a hair accessory, but it's more like a hair product. And uh, this is very interesting. <laughs> so it looks like this and it comes with the ingredient right here there's not many ingredients it's just like two or three and so this right here so basically the ingredients are glycerin wax and essence that's it okay so this looks like a lipstick but it's not and it looks like this <laughs> um Okay, so the first time that I tried this, I actually put it on my son because I was like trying it out on his, on wherever he has like a little bit of a mustache or his beard. I'm gonna show you a picture of that. And he was he was like, what, what is that? <laughs> you know, because he doesn't really understand. He's, he's like, take this mask off me. <laughs> but it's kind of like a wax. So the idea is that it's supposed to like cover up certain uh, sparse areas of your hairline so for example right here where it's like a little bit less hair on this area which I've had this since I was a little girl so it's just like my hairline but um, like an area like this you will be able to like cover it with something like this so I'm gonna show you a video of me putting it on the best way that I found to put it on 
is with a little brush. So if you have like a little brush for eyebrows where you make like individual little hairs, I think that that's like the best way of putting it on so it looks a little more natural than just like putting it on like this, which just looks like a black lipstick, a black waxy lipstick. They do carry this, I think, in two different colors. They carry it in black and they carry it in brown, I think. And it does come off with a makeup remover wipe. I did try to take it off just with water, but it does not come off just with water. You actually need to put in some type of makeup remover or soap. I tried with my son. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, so the next item is this right here and I think that this is so super cute it's a whole bunch of bracelets I thought it was one but it's not they're individual bracelets let me put it on so you can see so it looks like this once you put it on really really cute and obviously you could wear them all together or you could uh, use them individually because they are cute just individually. So there's like one right here. So another one right here. And let me show them to you like that. Ow. So they're elastic, they're, they're on an elastic. And so that's very, very comfortable. As you can see, like you have many different options of wearing it. You could wear two or three together. You could wear just one. You could wear them all, whatever you decide. This is a little uh, more neutral where it goes with a lot more different colors. And this to me just looks so spring. And that's why I really, really liked it. The next item is a body odor remover. And it is this little pomade right here. It's like a cute little pot. And it does say body odor right there. And it shows like a lady putting it on her armpit. And this is 0 0.35 ounces. So it's a very small little thing. It smells like camphor a little bit. Eucalyptus, camphor. It smells a little bit like vapor rub, like Vicks vapor rub. Or like that tiger balm <laughs> yeah that's what it smells like but i actually tried it the other day okay so let me give you a little bit of a background since i turned 40 well now i'm 43 almost 44 but since i turned 40 i feel like all of a sudden my hormones just went out of whack and i think i'm going through perimenopause already and i've been going through it for some time and deodorants just stopped working on me so i i went through like a lot i went through like um you know i stopped using the regular deodorants because they were not working on me i tried different brands different strengths anything that i could find like in a regular store that had deodorants that's what i got then i decided to go the natural route because that wasn't working for me anyways so I, and plus i didn't want to be putting like aluminum under my arm anymore so i decided to since it wasn't working anyways. <laughs> so I started using just lemon. So lemon worked for me, just putting like, I would like slice a lemon every day and I would like rub it under my armpits and it worked for a couple weeks and then it stopped working. And yeah, it just stopped working all of a sudden. So I think like my body just kind of got used to it. Um, it was kind of weird just like having that uh, feeling the, um, feeling the sweat again because I was so used to antiperspirants so they wouldn't let like the sweat go through anyways then I started using other things I I tried several se several different things um, and now I am using I think it's called Lumi and that has worked for me so it's a little more natural and yeah it has worked for me but I decided to give this a try just because Lumi is like, what, like $20 for one stick? <laughs> it's a lot, you know, it's very expensive. Um, so I decided to get this little thing, although it's kind of small, 
I was like, let me just see to see if it's true that it's actually going to do something. And I did try it and it does work. It did totally neutralize body odor for like 10 hours. So that is good. Um, yeah, your armpits are still going to sweat because it's not an antiperspirant. It's kind of just like a odor neutralizer. So yeah, if you have any type of different places where you need this in your body, like I would give it a try. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this next item and the last item that I'm gonna show you today is this right here. And this thing is amazing. I was so pleasantly surprised with it. Uh, it came in this box and it says epilator, painless hair removal exfoliation. It does show some images right there on the other side. And yeah, that's what it looks like. I actually got two of these. I got the blue one and I got the pink one. You can see it on the little card right here that it comes in different colors. But I got this one and I got this one. But the other one, my son has it because I gave it to him. So this has, it says right here, crystal hair eraser is made of high quality glass and ABS material with smooth surface, safe and reliable. You can use it with confidence. Okay, <laughs> so let me give you some information. Um, I'm going to be showing you a video of how I'm using it on my legs as I talk to you, but this thing, oh my gosh, it like, you could actually like, just like rub it on your hand if you want, cause it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. There's like no blades or anything on it. Um, it kind of feels like a very, very, very fine sanding sheet. Um, that's what it feels like, but it's supposed to be made out of crystal. So... I used it on my legs and once I use it, it didn't take that long by the way. I kind of like rub it in, in circular motion. I rub it up and down and it did like a great job at removing my hair and also my dead skin because my, uh, since I used it dry, it started looking white really quick and it was just like the dead skin falling off. I do not recommend that you use it wet because that is not the best way to use this. Plus I think that it's harder to take off the hair if you use it wet. Okay, so my son used it as well. Um, I actually used it on him. My son has much thicker hair. If you watch the, the uh, wax hair removal kit review from Amazon video, uh, you can see what his hair looks like. He has very thick hair on his legs because he's shaved it before. He's a teenager, but he's shaved it before. And, um, it actually did remove it. So that was very interesting. Now, you could use it on other body parts if you want, but I tried it on my husband's armpit and I had to do it a lot, like a lot, a lot. And some of the hairs like on the outer parts like of the armpit were coming off, like the finer hair, but like the thick part of it was not really coming off. And actually like it started, uh, giving him kind of like not a rash but kind of like chafing so then it was like burning a little bit and I had to put like aquaphor in his armpit and some of the hair still didn't come off so this is not the best use for the armpit or I guess like it has to be completely completely dry and maybe like that it it like works but um yeah I didn't even want to try it on mine after what happened with his <laughs> But <laughs> I did try it on my private parts. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I did try it on my private parts and it was the same kind of thing, except that it did take out the hair. So, okay. I did have to do a lot of rubbing. Like I rub, 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 rub. I rubbed a lot. <laughs> and it got to the point where it was also, it felt like it was shaved, like, you know, like it burned a little bit from so much rubbing, but the hair came off. It was smooth. It was smoother than I have ever felt it. Like shaving doesn't even get it that smooth. And it was completely smooth. Like I could go up and down and it was soft. It was very soft, like the skin. Um, so yeah, it did work wonders, but I think that it's just, you know, maybe because the skin is more sensitive, you're more prone to, 
like <laughs> you're more prone to it being irritated and so yeah it kind of burned a little bit afterwards so i had to put some aquaphor because it did get kind of like pink like kind of pinkish uh from all the rubbing and i did have to put aquaphor on it like so my husband's armpit and my thing were like both with aquaphor <laughs> yeah so that happened <laughs> Some people um, in the reviews, actually not these reviews, but I had seen this on Amazon and I actually had seen it as an ad for that. It was a lot of money, but this cost like two something, two dollars and something cents. Um, I had seen it for like 40, 30, 40 dollars somewhere else. And in the reviews, people were saying kind of like the same thing. Don't use it wet um, and try to avoid like the more sensitive areas of your body there's some people that try to use it on their face and they got uh, rashes and i think that it just depends how sensitive your skin is so yeah i haven't tried it on my face <laughs> i've never shaved my face i wax but i haven't shaved so that's why i didn't use this on my face anyways um so yeah that's my haul for today I hope that it was informative and that you can see like the variety of things that Timo has to offer. And sometimes they're a hit, sometimes they're a miss. But so far, I would say that like 99% of the times, I have gotten really good stuff there. So I'm really happy with that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye.